And uh, this this album came out uh, from another tour you, you did with with Panic at the Disco. Um, you went in the studio with Butch after that, and you were going to be writing a different record entirely. I understand before before all that happened. So you know what was what was that sort of experience like at the time, kind of going in and making this record, which which was um, a, a bit of a departure from um, from what had come before. I think, well, making records is a very interesting process. Um, I don't think it's quite as planned out as, uh, say, like a film would be, where you have like mm. a storyboard and everything. It's really all about the way things sound and feel. And y you you can say, we're going to do this or we're going to do that, and this is our approach, but really it sort of takes shape around you, and then mm. you adjust and see like, oh, this is the world we're making. Okay, this is the way it's sounding. Okay, well... Let's go with that. Or this is awful. Let's start over. Yeah. But, you know, what do they say about, like, like the best laid plans and all that? You know, but uh, it came out really cool. Mm. Like, And to me, that's exciting because I don't really want to know how it's going to turn out. I want to be surprised by how things are. So it was cool. It's... It reminded me of when Pinkerton came out. I mean, this is kind of, it got a similar response where it was initially fans have been like, not sure about it, but as the months have gone on since then, oh no, it's only been a few months, but already everyone's like, oh no, actually I really like the way this went. And well, I would love, I love that rather than, you know, something blowing up and then people mm. not caring. Mm. Uh, and it's, it's unusual because I think all of our records kind of sound different. Like mm. the Blue Album to Pinkerton is a, you wouldn't even know it was really the same band, <laughs> but there's a thread that runs through them all that's still kind of mm. weasery. So I don't know. We just can't make the blue album over and over again. And I guess that's that. It's it's interesting that that a similar thing has happened here in the sense of after the white album, which was probably the closest album you've made to the blue album, at least as as yeah, a, a, as a third I mean, party listener. Kind of, yeah. I mean, straight ahead, just good mm. songs, you know. And and then you know. To, to make a departure from that. It makes a lot of sense. It's always what you've done. Yeah, so we're gonna do something totally different next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on tour with the Fooey, so it might end up being a, uh, yeah. you know, a Motorhead tribute album. That's exactly right. <laughs> Get some Dio cover band. <laughs> hey, that'd be pretty cool. I love Dio. <laughs>